the Joe Rogan experience. Look at that fucking monster. Because we were just the bottom Oof. of the food chain, weren't we? Once upon oh, a time. Yeah. We're, as soon as we in invented the fire, wasn't it? As soon as we discovered the fire, boom. Changed yeah, control there. of fire probably helped. Weapons, flint. Yeah, that's it. We I wonder were just, what came first. We were just after scraps, weren't we? Leftovers from lions. Do you feel when you're doing these treks and you're going on these, these journeys and you're walking through places like Mongolia that are incredibly wild, mm. do, you, do you try to like envision what it must have been like to be an early person yeah, without all time. these yeah. amazing resources that you have at your disposal to help you get to this area That's that it. you're going to. Yeah. Oh, it would be a whole different kit and everything. Like, so in Mongolia, I didn't actually even use like GPS because that failed me. Or oh, community. Really? Yeah, all communities were in different places. It just didn't work. I went back to bog standards, map and compass. But can you imagine even before then as well? Map and, and, and compass? Yeah. So a fold-up map? Yeah, fold-up <gasps> map. Let's get out, yeah. Uh, we use we, Google Earth? No, none of that. No, again, bog standard, low budget journey that the Mongolia one was. So, um, so if you lost your map, you'd be fucked. Yeah, that. But also the the track that I was on. As I said, you could be following goat track or, or camel track, and that is your lifeline. That leads you to the next water source. So if you're in a desert storm, for example, it'd make more sense to try to keep going. Uh, well, no, just try, try to, to camp down, hide under your shelter if you lose sight of the track. But if you oh. don't, you can keep going. Yeah. So if you did that's why do I didn't that. walk at night as well. A lot of people say, "Well, it's hot during the day, and you're suffering with dehydration. Why didn't you walk at night time?" And you've got the Amu pit vipers, the ah. snakes. Um, you stand on the back end of them because you don't see it. You're you're pretty screwed. But you've also got the tracks. You need to be able to see in the distance the tracks splitting off because you'll come across um, almost like a junction. Four to five different tracks that are splitting off. Do they ever That's when you need your map and compass to be like, oh, which one, which track should I go down? You know, terrifying. Oh my god, I can't even imagine. And you can't communicate if you come across. If you're lucky to come across locals as well, they'll just point you in the wrong direction. They'll normally point you in the community, which is down south or up north, and you're trying to go east. And you're trying to say, no, I want to go that way. And they're like, no, 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 next community is this way. So like, I don't want the uh, next community. I want to walk to the most eastern. You know, so uh, it gets difficult. But yeah, that was always a threat. The dehydration in Mongolia really terrified me. Now, know? what happens if a standstorm covers the track up? <sighs> yeah, back to your map and compass and just hoping that you can be aware of the people around you, hoping you've got enough water, hoping you make it to another community or settlement. Um, whereas the jungle, harsh environment, de you know, um, spiders-wise, snake-wise, etc. But at the same time... You You've always got water. You can hack in the bamboo and it just leaks out water, you know. You've always does, got food. Does anybody know where you are? Yeah, I had a, a tracking device. And especially for Mission Yangtze, because it was Guinness World Record, we set off a tracker. Oh. And every five minutes, it'd come up with my speed. So even if I jumped in a car or on a bicycle, ah. boom, every five minutes, it's my speed, it's my altitude, my longitude, latitude, coordinates, the distance covered, uh, whether I'm active. And you'll zoom in and you can see my current location within five meters. And that was part of the interactivity. So I wanted to make this expedition as interactive as possible for the full year of like sharing blogs, uh, videos, live streams, photos, getting people to join. Um, again, presenting in schools, getting the kids out litter picking along the Yangtze River, doing the uh, filming for the documentary, uh, which we're securing uh, international international documentary, the Mission Yangtze will go out as. Um, so that's exciting. So all of this was very, very well planned, very in terms of the interactivity. Um, it's like six months of survival, six months of, you know, interacting with all the locals and just sharing it, getting it out there as best as we possibly could. So I was heavily on the radar with the GPS systems, the trackers, the lot. 